Okay, this is what Biden said on the Breakfast Club. Do you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump and you ain't black? Now, this is what Chelsea Handler said about 50 Cent. And I had to remind him that he was a black person, so he can't vote for Donald Trump. So she said she had to remind 50 Cent that he was a black person and he cannot vote for Trump. <laughs> hey, hey guys, what's, what's going on here? But Candace Owens got them all straightened out. Check it out. Tell me what you think. Uh, but I just saw a news headline that Chelsea Handler, who used to date 50 Cent, I guess had one of her very many emotional breakdowns um, on the internet when she found out that 50 Cent said that he did not want to vote for Joe Biden because of his tax plan. All right, I've already covered for you why what 50 Cent is saying makes perfect sense. Um, unfortunately, um, people don't understand that 50 Cent does not need to vote according to his skin color. He needs to vote according to his brain cells in terms of what is going to help him. Chelsea Handler just said, and I quote, she went on to Jimmy Fallon a couple of nights ago, presumably last night, and she said, I had to remind him that he is a black man, so he can't vote for Donald Trump. How do you look at a black person and tell them what they can or cannot do because of the color of their skin and not realize that you are the racist. You heard about my ex-boyfriend, right? 50 Cent and his support of of, of uh, Donald Trump. Yeah, what's going on between you? I, I saw your tweets and I go, wait, what's happening? Because you said he was your favorite ex-boyfriend and then he, what does he do? He's supporting Trump? He says he doesn't want to pay 62% of taxes, which by the way, is in a plan of, of Joe Biden's. That's, that's, that's a lie. He doesn't want to go from being 50 cent to 20 cent and i and i had to remind him that he was a black person so he can't vote for donald trump and that he shouldn't be influencing an entire swath of people who may listen to him because he's worried about his own personal pocketbook so i haven't heard back from him yet but i i am willing to you know seal the deal in more ways than one if he changes his mind and publicly denounces donald trump i might be willing to go for another spin if you know what i'm talking about <laughs> if you are watching this video and you do not understand how racist that sentence is i'm asking a serious question and i'm asking this open this up to the liberals open up people that don't like me don't don't follow my work don't understand what it is we are talking about as black conservatives how can you hear a sentence where you say to a black person, as a white person, that you are not allowed to do this because you're black and not realize that you are speaking like a segregationist, like a slave plantation owner, like a racist, like the racist that we have studied and learned about in school. When black Americans were not allowed to do certain things in American society because of the color of their skin, one of them being voting. Black Americans at a certain point did not have the right to vote until after the Civil War because of the color of their skin. If you are a liberal and you think that you are fighting for black rights and yet you get angry every time a black person tells you that after thinking and coming to their own free decision, they have decided that they want to vote for someone that you disagree with and your impulsive decision is to tell them you are a black person and therefore you are not allowed to do it. You're a racist. I know, crazy, right? Because you guys have just been thinking that you're not the racist and you've been going around calling everybody a racist. And then you sit here and you tell black Americans what they can and cannot do because they're black. Wake up. Maybe if you start with this Chelsea Handler quotation, you might realize why so many conservatives think that liberals are the real racists. You don't realize that you look at black Americans, you look at our skin color, and you think that you can automatically assign a bunch of characteristics and a bunch of actions to us based on the color of our skin. That is the literal definition of racism, right? So if you think all black people are oppressed and a black person tells you I'm not oppressed and you get angry, that's because you're a racist and you think all black people are the same. If you can't understand why all black people don't think alike and you get angry 
when a black person doesn't think the way you think they're supposed to think, it's not because you care about black people. It's because you're a racist and you're a narcissist and you really think that black people exist to make you feel good about yourself. So you know, if you're out there and you're pounding your fists and you're saying black lives matter and black people need to be heard and then somebody shares a can of Sones video and you go, oh, not that kind of black person, then you don't actually care about what black people think or what experiences black people are having and you don't want black people to have voices. You just want black people to echo what you think so you can look cool in front of your white friends who you wanna call a racist. That's what racism is using black people as props to get the world to echo what you think. It's a little bit of racism mixed with a little bit of narcissism to equal a modern day white liberal. So for all of you guys who love cancel culture, who love looking for racism even where it doesn't exist, you can take your little racism looking selves, okay, at every pocket of the world and direct it to Chelsea Handler.